Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Taking a first look at the level 80 Black Panther in Alliance Battle Extreme. This is not gonna be a Moon Knight comparison. I will be doing a video probably soon, very soon about this. I'm just gonna show you the build. Uh, this is just gonna be with a obelisk, actually two obelisk, which I want to show you. I will be trying probably level 80 Rage as well. So I'll let you guys know when I do. The build is very basic, but he actually is scoring very high with an obelisk we have a stage 6 iso so absolutely we are having 20 percent less attack we will be running two things this time we have the 200 percent obelisk and then we'll switch it to a one percent critical rate mini rage uh, which is a pretty good example of uh, you know sort of like a rage gameplay the only drawback with that is that the skill the cooldown for that proc like 200% proc you can do it every 7 seconds mini rage it's sadly 8 seconds anyways the rotation is uh, okay that was bad we'll start with 1 3 or 2 3 5 4 okay 3 5 4 we'll go normally the tier 3 rotation is where you need to maybe you know pay more attention so we'll go 3 cancel right here we'll come back uh, 3 cancel 5 cancel or 4 cancel uh, into the tier 3 skill I like to do 3 cancel 5 4 or 4 3 5 6 uh, with the proc with the mini rage you don't have to worry about that because you will not be losing the proc also there's one more thing I'm gonna be using the Ambaku team up uh, so we'll have Ambaku as well as Valkyrie which is the combat hero best team up for this guy he also gets an extra fifth skill from the co-op sadly 200% proc we cannot use it but mini rage we can let me show you the run and see how much he can score. Uh, the, by the way, the cancel, silent season cancelled on the 4th skill is very delayed. So it's very easy to cancel. So we'll so start off like this. This is a mini rage obelisk run with the 1%. So as you can see, I'm trying to spam. Absolutely the damage is nice. And as you can see, I'm trying to use the co-op skill right before that as well. So. The co-op skill timer is 80% so maybe uh, I suppose 80 seconds so I suppose you can use it uh, say 3 times so I might have made a mistake you can basically use the co-op skill 3 times with Black Panther in the in this thing basically so I think you should add maybe like 100, 200k or 300k extra score to uh, the run not 200k I would say Maybe like 100k more or something because we uh, will be only using it twice because it's 80 seconds so you can basically use it for like 240 although it's not really I, I think it's just gonna be two seconds anyways I'm totally confused with the maths and yeah looking forward to trying with the mini rage actually a real rage I should say so what we are trying to do is try to guess as much uh, rotations as I can I'm trying to also delay you can see slightly half a second here and there just to try to get the mini rage proc on the 4 and the tier 3 skill and that sadly hurts your scores you know you won't realize but a cdp of rage that's why is much better and sadly i'm not sure why they went with the 8 second timer on this thing like they could have just made it the 7 second timer uh, mini rage i believe is the only obelisk or a custom gear that actually has 8 second timer the proc has 7 seconds energy has proc 7 seconds basically all the cdps pve cdps are actually 7 seconds so that's kind of a drawback of this thing although i like the gameplay it's more aggressive you don't have to worry about the procs and you'll you won't actually miss any procs because uh, of the continuous 5 second damage that you can basically do different skills in just like the rage uh, so yeah it, it's going good it's not that bad 10 million already at uh, 40 45 50 seconds is not bad at all so he's very strong you know abx wise i think they made him to be meta i hope he can beat moon knight i'm looking forward to doing the comparison very soon and because the uh, like this is the only thing that i don't like is that if you do not delay the third rower then you have to delay the tier 3 rotation by one rotation that is the only thing that i don't like probably if you can delay the third rower as well you can add maybe 200k or something to your score maybe more i would say 
So it's all on the delay. Anyways, I will not be finishing this run because I don't want to register the score yet. So we are getting about uh, 11.5, let's say, we got with this thing. Okay, 11.5 is a good amount of score with a mini rage. It can be improved, absolutely. Uh, I guess I could try that. But let me just show you the 200% proc obelisk this time. This is a little bit more concerned. Like you have to be fast with the fingers and all. You can see the score is exactly the same or a bit higher, honestly, than the mini rage. Uh, now, the burst damage on the tier 3 rotation as well as on the normal rotation is amazing. We know Black Panther and he's very consistent with the proc timings. Uh, very few times it happens that the proc will be late. So, actually, yeah, we will be missing some procs in this run. You know, when mobs are around, when you're trying to cancel the roar, it happens here and there. But that's alright. It was a nice run. Uh, the best run so far I got. The drawback of using a cdp or something is that i cannot use the extra co-op that is an extra fifth skill and twice that can add a big number to you know to your run anyways so we got this the good thing is that we are not missing any procs for now we do lose some damage from the extra fifth skill but as you can see i cancelled the fifth skill slight early because i was afraid it was gonna proc so these things will happen the score will improve and I believe uh, in the end I will let you guys know how much we can actually add to the score. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun to use this guy. Uh, really good gameplay wise. I love the new skills and the good thing is that the first skill actually has I uh, paralyze very soon. So you can try and help yourself with the paralyze on that thing as well. You know, if you want to delay some rover, you can try it all. As you can see, we was able to we were able to delay the second roar, which worked pretty fantastic for us. And yeah, we're doing good. We are doing pretty nicely. So we had about 10 million at uh, one minute timer remaining. As you can see, we are doing good, and we have about the same score with the proc as well. And this is without the go up. So I do think that maybe proc is better than say a cdp of rage style gameplay for this guy and the burst damage from the proc uh, might just beat the mini rage but we will see in the end of the run although run is very good uh, i only had the fifth skill early cancel i think once or twice in the run i forgot if i and yeah i was able to delay the rover by the way this was this is what i'm talking about we were able to delay the rover if you can delay this rover then it fits very well with the rotation. The delay is needed. Uh, you can maybe help yourself with the first skill paralyze, but it doesn't happen all the time. You have to be very quick with your rotation. We are at 11.2. We will use probably two more rotations to go. And yeah, it's gonna be very close. It's gonna be very close. I think we can get, come on. And we missed the proc. Yeah, we missed the proc. And we're still able to get almost 11.7. Missing the procs and two, uh, two early cancels almost with the fifth skill. He can hit 12 million with a 200% obelisk with stage 6 ISO. So he's very strong. Okay. So Moon Knight cannot do that. Okay. Moon Knight cannot do that. Moon Knight needs a CDP of energy. I myself on my account, I score about... 13 million with the mighty CTP of energy moon knight although yes my physical attack is not as high as this but this tells us something uh, first thing uh, if you are gonna give him like a proc or something like obelisk go with the 200 percent do not go with the mini rage okay now rage works different than the mini rage okay you're only getting the critical rate or the dodge for the mini rage you get critical rate and the dodge multiplier for a rage so the damage is going to be substantially high also comparing that to something like maybe brilliant destruction or something which i do think brilliant is going to be the best for uh, this guy for world boss legend and other stuff uh, it still works fine with whatever build that you give him although the proc will is the one that i will be suggesting you guys should try let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about black panther and do you think he can beat moon knight i'll try and do the rage and mighty rage sort of uh, runs very soon and hopefully a tier 4 showcase very soon as well
Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. He definitely has some potential. And we'll test out more in the upcoming videos. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.